evening. I'm going to service a modern Zebco 404, this beautiful red thing right here. And it's one of the few that I have that's actually on a matching rod, so yay. But to do the service... Oh, those gears are crunchy. I'm going to take it off the rod. Just like that. Now there are a couple things on the modern 404 that I like. I like the big drag in the front. It's easier for guys with fat fingers. I do like that this particular one has an anti-reverse. There is a modern model that does not. And it does have a hook catch right there. Hmm. This one's actually pretty clean inside. But I'm going to tear it apart anyway. As always, put your parts on the table the exact order they come off. To get your cap off, hold your, your handle. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Still has lube. Boy, that rain is just a pouring down out there. Need a slightly smaller size, I think. You want to be able to get in there into these little gaps here. You'll be able to get into them and then push out. <clears throat> Come on, you will not beat me. You will not beat me. That would have sucked. hand over it to catch it when it pops off. Now we can use the big one. I've created a gap. This is being stubborn for some reason. Yay! Okie dokie. Remember the fuzz goes down. I'll have to count on you to remember that. I don't remember shit. And the drag mechanism actually came off with this. They should be separated. Cool. And then now to get into the bottom. Which, since everything else has been pretty nicely lubed, I imagine it is too. I've actually broken one of these before because of this open design that they do now. I'm not gentle on anything. But the idea is basically to. Hmm, this one's cracked. Wonder if I did that. But anyway, the idea is basically to pull it out to the side, which is what I'm working on. And then once you get it to a certain point, it'll just fall out. Mm -hmm. 
or not and make a liar out of me. I don't like it when they make me a liar. Now, like I keep telling you guys, I'm a professional idiot. There we go. Come on, wiggle out, damn it. This one just does not want to let go. Pretty well bone dry in there. I think there's a drop of lube. So it was worth it. I have to fix that. So let me uh, clean up my fingers here. I'm going to investigate the gears real quick, make sure everything's turning the way it should. Okay, the entire reverse seems okay. Seems a little stiff, but a little bit of lube will fix that. Sweet, let's get some lube in it. Lube, lube makes me happy. Lube, lube makes me smile. That is the most lube this reel has had in a very long while. Alright. Let's reel that down into it. Oh yeah, better already. Let's get some over here on the anti-reverse knobby thingy. Right there, right there, right there. Cool. That, that's actually a lot better. Loop, loop, loopy, loop. Sweet. Alright, well. wonder what this was lubed with originally. It was some good stuff. I don't know how old this is or, you know, how much it was actually used or anything, but I do know it is a modern one. Okay. When you're putting back in your first plate for your anti-reverse, that flat spot right here goes into what looks like a flathead screw there. Only goes one way, can't really screw it up. And then our next thing was the, uh, whatever kind of lube they used, it's sticky.
Anyway, this gizmo is next, and if you look, you'll notice it's got two little tabs. And this has two little slots. You put two and two together, you get 75. And you figure out that those two little tabs go down those little slots. Something like that. I'm going to take all the line off of this before I put it back on. Yeah, the line feels okay, but again, I don't know how old it, any of this stuff is. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. Still pulling line off of it. Okay, we've gotten all the line off of it. That's going to go on just about like that. So they lubricated every little teeny tiny piece of the top but they didn't actually lubricate the gears it seems odd alright now to put the uh, dreaded C clamp back in Hopefully it goes in easier than it came out. Hopefully it goes in easier than it came out. Hopefully it goes in easier than it came out. Go on, damn. Ah. I don't know if that was any easier, but you know, at least it went. Sweet. It's kind of hoping there'd be something wrong with it so I can show you how to fix stuff, but you know, if it tank broke, don't fix it. It's making noise that there's something wrong. Interesting. I do see a little tiny spot where I missed putting lube. Which is why we double check them before we put them back together. Cake that some bitch in lube. Lube makes the world go round. Cool. Now let's see if I can get it back in without breaking it. Cause you know. Not a big fan of the modern ones. You guys know that by now. I, I prefer vintage stuff. But I take all fishing real seriously, even the ones that I don't like. Uh, next episode, we're going to put line on it, but for tonight, it's late. I'm tired. It's raining. I'm making my bones hurt. And there is a modern Zebco 404 teardown. Teardown and rebuild. I wonder what those numbers are.
Didn't know they put serial numbers on these. Anyway. That's what it's supposed to do. Cool. Two thumbs up. It's good to go.